Uh, we're going to move on to allyship. I'd love to hear uh, from you all about kind of what you feel makes a good ally and what you would like to see from peers, employers, corporations, and what needs to stop. Uh, Biko, well, why don't you start? Uh, okay. Sorry, there we so, go. So <laughs> when it comes to diversity and inclusion, I always like to say, at least in the workforce, for example, uh, diversity is about people and inclusion is about culture. So, which is why you can talk about diversity and inclusion and have a diverse workforce. However, if you really pay attention, you would notice that that diversity is only relegated to the bottom. When you go higher up the corporate chain, uh, the latter, you find that there is no diversity there. So, what I would advocate for allies to do is to have, um, if you're, say, at work, if you look around you at work today, how many trans people are working next to you? And in any job that you've had, how many trans folks have been around you? And because of that, ask yourself, what is it that you're doing differently? Because we need to not only have diversity, but we also need to have total inclusion. And to be a good ally to a trans person is to show up and be counted and to show them that a trans person with an ally is a formidable person. That's right. Rachel, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Sure. I mean, one way that I like to think about allyship is that, you know, being an ally is not a noun or a destination. It's a constant practice. It's yes. a verb. It's um, to think about it as not something that you are, but something that you practice every day. And, um, and I think also to practice it with a sense of not obligation or like you're doing a favor because in fact this is about um, a, a world that is more just. Um, it is about um, righting wrongs, whether they are wrongs you committed yourself or wrongs that you also have to account for because you've benefited from 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 other from from privilege or power or history in some way. Um, so I think bringing to it a spirit of curiosity and humility and the idea that it is a, a lifelong practice. It is something that you, um, and I, uh, you know, to, to, to pick up on what Biko said, I think one simple way to think about it, um, which I think is incredibly powerful is who's in the room and who's not in the room, who's at this table and not at this table, whose voice is being heard and not. And those are questions that I think can, for allies or people who want to be allies to constantly ask themselves, who am I hearing from and who am I not? Is my voice too loud here? Should I be in this space or do I need to cede space to others? Um, and just know that it is, a, it is a lifelong daily practice and action. And Cyrus, your thoughts? Yeah, I think a good ally takes leadership from those who are most affected by the issue. So whether it's systemic racism, transphobia, ableism, whatever it is, you're taking direction from people who are most affected by that issue. I think good allies listen. Uh, they take action in support of the demands of folks who are most affected. So not setting the demands themselves, but taking leadership from people who are most affected. I think that, you know, good allies take action, demonstrated, concrete action in support of the demands of the of the group that is that is asking for allyship you know we need an end to this idea of performative allyship where you you know maybe make a statement on facebook or you, you know you sort of do something that doesn't actually address the structural root causes we need actual concrete change at this point so we need allies who are going to get as fanny lou hamer said in the mess with us and who are going to organize with us and who are going to you know take direction and help push the fight forward i think that you know this this moment of recognizing that you know we're at the crest of of, of a new world like the world is changing under our feet Every day I wake up, something is slightly different. We are in a revolutionary moment, and so we need everybody to get involved in this fight, mm -hmm. not because you're doing it as a favor, as you say, but because our liberation is tied up with each other's. We are going to get free. Our great-grandchildren are going to be born free. We are going to have the most beautiful world, and we're going to do it together, and so we need to work together.